If you're looking to download, separate, extract the audio from a video file, you're in the right place. Thanks for the click, I appreciate you being here. My name is Steve, your free virtual assistant. And if you're looking for tech support 24 seven, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now you have a video file and you want just the audio from that file, what do you do? The best, easiest, free way to do this is with a program called Audacity. Now if you've tried Audacity before and this didn't work for you and somebody told you you needed an extra plugin, I'm here to tell you that you do not need an extra plugin. You can do this with the Windows 10 version of Audacity that you get from the Microsoft Store. And here's how you find it in the Microsoft Store. On your Windows 10 computer, go in the search bar at the bottom and type in Microsoft Store and click this option here. It opens up the store and in the search bar in the upper right corner, type in Audacity. Click the option with the blue headphones. Here we're going to be able to install this version of Audacity by clicking the install button. This is going to download the file, install it to your computer, and I think open it up automatically so you don't even have to do that, which is very nice. So once it's finished installing, you click the launch button here, and that's going to open up Audacity. Close any pop-ups that come up, you don't need this. And now we're ready to actually extract the audio from our video files, everything's ready to go. So I'm going to navigate on my computer over to where I have my video file, and I'm going to drag this file into Audacity. Audacity is going to automatically extract the audio from this file for me. Now it's not going to save it, I'm going to have to do that in another step, but we see here the waveform that comes from that video file. Now if you want extra tips on how to clean up the audio, cut out parts, or rearrange some things, let me know in the comments below what you actually want to see in Audacity as far as editing sound files go. Now we want to save this audio file as a separate file, so this is what we do. Go to File, Export, and we see that we can save this as an MP3, a WAV, or a few different formats. If you need something specific, click on the export audio option and you'll get a, a list of different options that you can save this as. We're going to click on MP3. In the dialog box here, I'm going to navigate on my computer to where I actually want to save this file. I'm going to leave the name alone and then I'm going to click on save. Leave everything else alone and even in this pop-up that comes up, I'm just going to click OK. You can add some additional information if you want. I'll click OK. At this point, Audacity is just going to save the audio file to my computer. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to my folder here, and we see that we have a brand new file here on the computer. This is the MP3, the extracted audio from this video file. If I go double click and play it, audio plays as expected. Cool? Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, you can do a number of different things with this audio file. You can go ahead and put it on your phone and listen to it. Let's say it's a music track and you want to just listen to the sound. You can go and do that. You can also add this file to your Google Slides presentation. I know a couple of you were asking me about how do I add audio to my Google Slides presentation. If you want to keep creating, make sure you check out these videos on the screen here. And if you want to know how to add your audio to your Google Slides presentation, click on this video. Make sure you're staying safe. I hope you're healthy. And please, for the love of God, wash your hands.